Cassettes, $19.99. Order now. Last hours of December 29th, 1972, a jetliner with 163 passengers and 13 crew members crashed in the Everglades just outside of Miami. This is the true story of that crash and of the legend that grew up about the incredible aftermath. Throughout the aviation world, it is still spoken of as the ghost of Flight 401. almost New Year's Eve, and you're letting out all my steam. You know, we don't have to spend every New Year's Eve together. What'd you say, honey? I have bad feelings, Don. It's all that eggnog last night. I didn't have any eggnog last night. Oh? <laughs> then how come you were asleep at 10? Boredom. Boredom, huh? I'll get you for that. There you are. Oh, boy. Mm. Thank you. Oh, boy. Hmm? Now that I got my heart started again. <laughs> Dom, don't go today. Hmm? Call in sick, we'll go to the beach or take in a movie. Why? Oh, I don't know, I, uh, I don't want to be alone today. Alone? Huh, with those monsters? <laughs> Ooh. Why don't you ever use the nice smelling stuff that I bought you? I did once, but a passenger tried to pick me up. Well, that's very flattering. No, because it was a guy. <laughs> no, thanks. I'm going to stick with my bay rum. 
Please tell him to go. Oh, come on. For me. Never called in sick when I wasn't. Now come to think of it, I never even <laughs> played hooky in school. <laughs> I didn't even cheat on a test. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm just what you call overly responsible. Yeah. That's the way I'm made, honey. Yeah. <laughs> what about your wife? Did you ever cheat on your wife? Well, I just said I was responsible, not a fanatic. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Ow! Oh, you! What's up? So you and Maria coming on Sunday? Sunday? You know, New Year's Eve, my place. Booze, broads, funny hats, capiche? Oh, Capodanno! Capisco, signor, si. Yeah, your Marcello Mastriani impression, right? So, you gonna be there? I ever let you down, signor Evan Howard? stewardess in me needs to know what to bring New Year's Eve. <laughs> Your old man and a good appetite. Okay. Hey, Jordy. Your turnaround is 9 o'clock, isn't it? I think I can uh, verify that for you, lady. Hey, is that the kid? Yeah, I don't see him enough. Well, you can babysit anytime you want to. Yeah, I'm friendly, not a masochist. Hey, here we go. Uh, he's doing it at 1132 if he doesn't have a date. Judy, why don't you just go fly a kite? Why?
it's one of those sheepskin coats, you know, with the with the suede and and, and the fur. I can get about two hundred dollars off if you want one. Oh, what would I do with a sheepskin coat in Miami? I know, but uh, look, I've been married for nine years, and you don't have a fur coat yet. Dom, I don't know how to break this to you, but sheepskin isn't exactly the same thing as fur. But it's a bargain, honey. I love you for thinking about me, but really, we could use the money for something we need. Really, we can. Okay. Thank you. Are you coming right home? Yep. About one o'clock. Now, don't you wait up. Yes, I will. Dom? Yeah? I love you. I, lo I love you, too. Good evening, and welcome aboard Atlantic Southeastern Airlines Flight 401 to Miami. Now I'd like to direct your attention to the stewardesses in the aisle who will demonstrate the safety procedure on board our new L-1011. I'm not troubleshooting this flight. This is strictly unofficial. I'm dead heading back. Uh, escrow's closing on a new house my wife and I bought, so I gotta get back. Where, Miami? Yeah, company's had me in New York all week. Here you go. I think this is the one I wanted. Excuse me, did you get the magazine? Anybody want anything from the galley? Yeah. I'll take Prissy. Oh. <laughs> I'll come back to you guys. <laughs> How about dinner? I'll have the chicken, and uh, my wife will have the beef. All right. Hey, lots of no-shows. Yeah, well, it's the holiday season. Everybody double books. Yeah, well, this is my first time on an L-1011. Yeah? When it's empty, it's uh, really empty. Vacation flight for me. <laughs> You're like me. One vacation in ten years, and you spend half of it flying to Miami. <laughs> You're not kidding. Come, guys, dinner? Uh, two beef, please. All right. Uh, Miami Day JC. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Ron Smith, class of 69. Chrissy Frazier. <laughs> yeah. Am I supposed to know you? Well, yeah. Uh, I saw you around campus. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Honeymoon flight, yeah? Um, just ended. <laughs> just be cute. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Ah, gonna get fat, buddy. Hey, I won't tell anybody if you don't. You want a bite? No, thank you. The airlines don't like 200-pound stewardesses. And, uh, when was the last time you saw your knees? Hey, you got to show a little respect to you, though. Thank you. See you later. Yep. Hope you choke on your meatballs. That's a no-nice. I found the horses. I'm making cap down below. Hey, Bert. You've been to Italy? Yeah. What's it like? It's full of Italians. <laughs> Very funny. I'd like to go on vacation, but I don't know. I don't like to leave the kids, and yet I know Maria wouldn't enjoy herself, you know, if we took them along. Take a nanny. You're rich. Huh. Oh, I'd sure like to go. Florence, Michelangelo's David. You like to look at naked men, huh? And La Scala. Man, I want to hear La Traviata in La Scala. <laughs> Somali, you're a feat, you know that? But now, wait a minute. There's more things in this world, you know, besides rock and roll and, and, and blue movies. You know what the three best things in the world are? No, what? A martini before and a nap after. Martini before. 
California. <laughs> Welcome to Miami, ladies and gentlemen. The temperature's in the low 70s, and it's beautiful out there tonight. Sure beats that 28 degrees we left behind us in New York. We're in our approach pattern now, and we should be getting into the terminal pretty close to our scheduled arrival time. On behalf of those 10 lovely and capable stewardesses and our crew, thank you for flying Atlantic Southeastern. And, uh, you all come back now, yeah? Miami Control, this is Flight 401, request landing instruction. Landing Southeastern 401, Miami Approach, right end. Turn left, heading 1003 from the market. You're cleared, final approach, uh, runway 9 left, Miami. Tower 118.3 at the market. Roger. Good morning. Good morning. I got 11.30 p.m. Holiday traffic, they're overworked. <laughs> Just as long as he knows up from down. Miami Tower. This is Atlantic Southeastern 401. Just turned on final. Go ahead, Bert. Put the wheels down. Ignition on, no smoke. Coming on. No smoke. Brake system? Okay. Hydraulic panels checked? 35, 33. Engine cross bleeds are open. Oops. No nose gear. I gotta raise it back up. Damn. Pull it up, Bert. I'm going to try it down one more time. Drop it. Still no nose gear. We're at 1,500 feet, sir. All correct. You want to tell him we'll pull up and go around for a while? Uh, Miami Tower, this is Atlantic Southeastern 401. We're going to have to circle. We haven't got a nose gear light. Any bets it's just a signal light? Not from me. Lousy 20 cent bulb, that's what it usually is. Want me to check it out, sir? Yeah, you better. Approach control, okay. Going up to 2,000. 128.6. I can't get at it. I just can't get a grip on it. Atlantic Southeastern 401, Miami approach. Turn left, heading 360. Maintain 2,000. Vectors to 9 left final order. Bert, you better put it on autopilot. Davidson, any ideas? None you don't have, Captain. Tom, forget about that light. It doesn't prove anything. Yes, sir. Listen, you better get below in the hell hole. Take a visual. Check that optical sight. Make sure it's lined up on that red line. Can do, Captain. Boy, the guy that christened these electronic bays hellholes were right. Yeah, you are, you little devil. I don't see it down here. 
There's a place you can look. I know, but I can't see the lines. Let me take a crack at it. Let's see if we can get this thing out. If we can get up under the pen. Yeah. All right. Do you see anything? No. I got everything all lined up. I just don't see any. Here, take a look. See if I get a. No, no, there's a panel underneath. It's blocked. Okay, National 611, you're cleared to descend. Over. I thought 401 was assigned 2,000 feet. Hey, Chief, I got some six coming in. Huh? 401 is at 900 feet. SA 401, this is approach control. How you doing out there? Uh, okay. We'd like to hold our position for a few minutes more. Roger, uh, ASA 41 is approach control, turn left, 180. Yeah, That nose reel is down. It even feels down. Yeah, it's usually just the bulb. Dom Simoli yet? No, flight 401's a little late. Thousand feet, right? Mm -hmm. Atlantic uh, Southeastern 401. I've lost you on the radar scope and the transponder. What's your altitude now? Miami approach. This is National 611. Are you missing an airplane? We just saw a big flash over the Everglades.
Roger, uh, Coast Guard, this is Miami Approach. We've uh, lost Atlantic Southeastern's Flight 401 from the radar scope. Uh, about 18 miles west-northwest of Miami International. Roger. Put the ready helicopter on the line. Major aircraft crash in the Everglades, 20 miles west of MIA. <laughs> in a moment. Later on, the EMT, the survivors of a plane crash desperately cling to life in the true story, Survive. Tomorrow on TNT, Team USA faces off against Finland in their toughest challenge yet. The medal round begins in hockey. USA and Finland tomorrow at 1 Eastern on TNT. Room service. Cappuccino. New Italian cappuccino from General Foods International Coffees. Mmm. Delicious. Like that time in Italy when we met. Yeah. You wanted to come over to my table. I just wanted your cappuccino. Well, you got it. Rich, creamy tasting coffee with the flavor of Italy. So you just love me for my cappuccino? Can you blame me? Celebrate the moments of your life. New Italian cappuccino. automatic. It's like cleaning your toilet with Clorox bleach every time you flush. Meet Michelle Fields. Free-spirited, adventurous. Among other things. Anyway, when Michelle drove a Pontiac Grand Am with a powerful V6 and sports suspension, she knew she found her fun car. Well, I do love the way it drives. You bet. But actually, it's the quality feel. And with a standard airbag and anti-lock brakes for thousands less than your quarter Camry. My Grand Am was too good to pass up. So the new Grand Am is the fun choice and the smart choice. You are really quick. We are driving excitement, Pontiac. The 1994 Winter Olympics on TNT. Daytime coverage continues tomorrow at 1 Eastern. Unanimously hailed as one of the best movies of the year. Yeah. A masterpiece. I got a writer in here who's got a pitch I think you ought to hear. I think it's hot. One of the most acclaimed movies of our time. Here it is. The Graduate, part two. It's out of Africa meets Pretty Woman. It'll be funny. Not unlike Ghost meets Manchurian Candidate. The Player. It's free when you subscribe to Film Comment. The film magazine that takes movies as seriously as you do. Call now for a full year of film comment for only $19.95. And you'll also get the player free. Every issue of film comment takes you behind the scenes with the biggest names in show business. Angelica, Griffin Mill. Oh, hi. Good to see you. Malcolm McDowell. Hi, how are you? Hi, Bert. Good to see you. Good to see you. And just about every star can be seen in The Player, which is yours free when you get a full year of film comment at a savings of over 20% off the cover price. So call now. We do not arrest the wrong person. That's L.A. Yes. And now.
now, back to the ghost of Flight 401 on TNT. I have just been advised that Flight 401 is still in a holding pattern. I'm going to still up there. There's nothing else that we can do. We must keep going to the next. 401 is down, BD. It crashed in the Everglades. Oh, dear God. You need some help, so I'll stick around. Ladies and gentlemen, may we have your attention, please? We regret to advise you that ASA Flight 401 has crashed. Oh, we will announce the names and locations of survivors as they are received. ASA representatives will assist you in any possible way to arrange your friends and relatives to go immediately wherever hospital is involved. We'd appreciate if you would follow the ASA passenger representative to the lounge area. Good evening, Doc. Hi. Oh, you know, I can never sleep without Tom. I, uh, I tried. I was watching some television, you know, uh, an old movie, but I can never sleep without it. Would you like some coffee? I'll make you some coffee. Maria? Maria, sit down, please. The plane went down. Oh, Lord. Maria? I know there are survivors. I don't know how many or I where, didn't want him to go. I know, I, and I didn't want anyone else to tell you. That's why I came. Oh! Maria, I've got to go back to the office. Val, I'm going to stay here with you. And I've, I've, I've just got to go. Now, Val, honey, look, I'll call you and let you know where and when and how and... Oh. Maria, there are survivors. get you to the hospital, but you got to keep still. Hey, somebody. What's that? Hellhole. It's all right, buddy. We'll get you out of there.
crash. Yep, that's right. Hang on. Seven stewardesses, no, no, make that eight. That's eight out of ten dead. No, there's no ID on the infant. Look, there's, there's, uh, there's more confirmed dead. There's a, a Ross, Ross Messina, Miss Pauline Osborne, uh, Mary Smith, her husband's at the hospital, a uh, Saul, Saul Hoverman. There's a... Uh, Uh, a Pat Gissels and a Stephanie Stanich, both confirmed dead. They, uh, they were stews. I, I used to fly with them a while back. Look, uh, would you let me call you back on this? Look, you haven't, you have no idea what's going on here. I mean, we have God knows how many more dead still buried in a in a foot of mud, the morgue can't handle what's already in. Well, just give me a minute! Uh, <laughs> look, I... I'm sorry, it's... Uh, it's not easy, you see. I, okay? All right, um... <sighs> yeah, well, uh... Mr. And, Midger, Mr. and Mrs. Edgar Willows, uh, Mr. Gail Jones, uh, Dr. Stanley Perlman, uh, John Fellman. Chrissy. 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 Chriss
Turns in a moment. Later on, the MT, the survivors of a plane crash desperately cling to life in the true story Survive. Tomorrow night. You just go. Our oh. favorite wild thing. <laughs> Gary Busey. Crazy. Hosts The Wild One. One of our favorite movies, Winter Edition. Tomorrow night at 8 on TNT. General Nutrition Centers has it. Cybertrim, the revolutionary body toning kit. A diet and exercise manual, nutritional supplements, plus a cassette and body composition meter. Now get 33% more Cybertrim at General Nutrition Centers at no additional cost. Here's to your Health America from GNC. States Virgin Islands. See your travel agent or call us. It's better. Not better. Surprise. It's sweet. Mm. Ocean spray. Ruby red, tangerine, grapefruit juice drink. Tangerine. Surprise. It's very, very sweet. It's not any ordinary grapefruit juice. Ruby red and tangerine. Crave the wave. Lately, Roy's been doing the cooking. It was kind of grim. Then, he started making the most incredible roast chicken. What can I say? I'm going to tell. It was Tyson ready to eat roasted chicken, delicious cold, or heat it up. Tell me what? <laughs> Some people just want clean teeth, but others want to keep their teeth healthy for life. For you, Oral-B introduces the Advantage Plaque Remover. Its power tip removes plaque behind your back teeth, and its action cup is clinically proven to be highly effective against gum disease. So the Advantage has the same goal as you and your dentist, helping your permanent teeth stay that way. The new Advantage Plaque Remover, the best toothbrush ever from Oral-B, the brand more dentists use. You're looking at the most powerful import pickup ever built. The new 4-liter V6 Mazda truck. What all the beautiful people are driving this year. In 94 from TBS Originals, real people, a century of women, Hollywood's top actresses join together to tell the real story. The Native Americans, their legends, their lives as only they can tell it. Real stories, cats and dogs, which is America's favorite pet, you decide. Moonshot, how does it feel to make history? Find out from the heroes who had what it takes. TBS Originals, real entertainment. Gary Busey hosts The Wild One, one of our favorite movies, Winter Edition, tomorrow night at 8 on TNT. Yeah. 
here he comes again. Ray Stevens is back. Is that burned with a brand new video? Ray Stevens Live. Great, great, great. I want to see it again. Uh, <laughs> Eleven great songs, including Guitar Zan. <laughs> Shriners Convention. That's number one. You gotta see it. I saw Elvis in a UFO. I saw Elvis in a UFO. Misty. Look at me. I'm as helpless as kitten up to. That musical funny man is loose again. Ah! This time live on stage for almost one full hour of new zany family entertainment. Here's how to order. For rush delivery, have your credit card ready and call 1-800-421-2000 or send 1998 plus 450 shipping to Ray Stevens Live, P.O. Box 2666, Atlanta, Georgia. Or call 1-800-421-2000. And now, back to the ghost of Flight 401 on TNT. The Lord gave, and the Lord hath taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. O oh Lord, our Heavenly Father, support, strengthen, and comfort the weary who has been stricken with sorrow. As we humbly give thanks for the goodness of His transitory life of ours until our work is finished and we too are called to the throne of the good shepherd to be received into the glory of heaven through the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Jordy, how you doing? Good, how are you? Fine. Can I borrow your bicycle tomorrow? Huh? <laughs> sure. Well, how are you gonna with the, you know... The cast comes off tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> bad time, isn't it? Gotta get these legs in shape. Well, from the looks of the other one, um, you're doing fine. Jordy. This is, um, the place, right? 
Yeah, yeah, right. Um, that's where all the parts are stored. The FAA has signed a release so we can use some of the parts in other planes. I'd like to go in there with you. You ready for that? Look, Jordy, when I woke up in the hospital, I just thought, I'll never fly again. Never. All I could think about was the, just the crash and, and the people, and I said, never again. Again? No, now. I don't want to. I want to go back. I, as soon as my cast is off, I want to go back. So I want to go in there. I, I, I want to see it. How about it? Okay? Okay, okay. Come on. Is it always this dark in here? Yeah, what's the see? All of this from 401? Yeah, you see, uh, when a plane crashes, sometimes the parts are scattered in a thousand pieces. Others are left without a scratch. Like all the people inside, right? Yeah, Chrissy. I don't think you're quite ready for this. Let's go, huh? No. That's the galley. That's where I was with Dom right before we Chrissy. crashed. Come on, let's go. Why? Why did it have to happen? Prissy, 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 Prissy. These things happen. It's circumstance. It's situation. Now, the FAA suspects... Hi, right, come. Uh, yeah. what do you say, Dutch? It's all functional? All tested? Cleaned? Yeah, the, uh, the bulkheads from the hellhole there, right? That's right. That's where Somali. Yeah, look, hey, Dutch, look, I'm gonna hurry in. Here's a release. Here's the requisitions from blind maintenance for half the parts. Not easy, eh? Now you need parts, you got parts. The parts didn't down the plane, you know? Yeah, fine. Why so irritable, Dutch? Because when a plane goes down, I take it as a personal insult. You're too pretty and too young to be remembering what you're remembering. Let's clean this warehouse out. Come on. Okay, yeah. Thanks a lot. Come on. Everybody on this airline switched to Bayrum. Been smelling it for weeks. I know. Yeah. Hey, uh, excuse me, huh? I've got someone here. I'll get after you. Bye-bye. You sure you want to go through with this? I'm not the type of person to sit around the apartment and do nothing. Yeah, but you quit once already to sit around the apartment. Jordy, when you stop flying, that's when I stop flying. But you didn't like it, right? Neither mm. do I. Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah, Dutch, what can I do for you? Ride harder. The signature for number three engine chassis didn't go through the carbon. So Xerox the original. You do things by the book, you know. Okay, I'll buy harder pencils. Right. Hey, Captain. You hear any of those stories about the parts from 401? No, what stories? Uh, never mind, Captain. They're just stories. Just stories. Okay, see you later. Right. You're not afraid any itinerant millionaire might pick me up, are you? Haven't they already in the past? Huh? Yeah, a few. At least they claim to be millionaires. And? Money can't buy everything, Jordy. Yeah? Like what? Poverty. All right, come on, I've got work to do. On your feet. Give us a kiss, huh? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hey, 
Prissy, what's with a record player? I don't know. I keep pressing all the wrong gizmos on this thing. Oh, Prissy, I'll help you find the right gizmo. And you, lover boy, you were supposed to bring, uh, what's her name with a great big, uh... Oh, yeah. Oh, really a maid. Yeah. And, yeah. Well, I was gonna bring her, but she's just a little too crazy. Because she's dating you? No, that's not crazy, just bad taste. No, no, crazy, really. I mean, she swears she saw Dom's ghost. I mean, she swears she saw it. Swears it was Dom. <laughs> Goodbye, or really a maid. <laughs> Where'd she see Dom's ghost? You know, really a maid is from Muscle Shoals, Alabama. She had a very deprived childhood. Bill, where'd she see Dom's ghost? Oh, on the plane. In first class. I mean, he's got style. Yeah. <laughs> what was he doing? Whatever ghosts do. Haunt, I guess. <laughs> he was haunting. Look, you guys. Marge Elder saw him, too. Last week on flight 201. Terrific. Now we've got an epidemic of hysterical stewardesses. That's a chauvinistic statement if I ever heard one. I'm a chauvinist. Any more? Dory Klein and Mary Long. You know about this? Why don't you tell me? I'm not the company snitch. And since when are you a chauvinist? Listen, Val, you could have talked... Wait a second, wait a second. I'm not your messenger. Oh, boy. We get to watch the very first quarrel. Hey, come on. I mean it. We can't have this kind of hysterical... Uh, is this ghost only seen on Atlantic Southeastern Airlines? Right. Terrific. The only airlines with a resident ghost. I mean, we couldn't get a worse rumor going if we hired the uh, kamikaze pilots. I thought we did. Hey, now, listen. You, I mean, all of you guys, you've got to stop these kind of rumors before the brass hears about it. Because we can go and talk to the stews and tell them to shut up? I hate to puncture your masculine pride, but uh, some of these rumors come from cockpit crews. Then it would be in the logs. Yeah, well, we'll check them. Right, honey? <laughs> right. We can all waltz down to records and check the logs. Not afraid a steady and unhysterical pilot might have seen it, are you? Okay, wise guy. We'll check the logs. in a moment. Later on, TNT, the survivors of a plane crash desperately cling to life in the true story, Survive. Saturday, TNT's Monster Vision in one word. Five horrific movies where one word is worth a thousand pictures. TNT Monster Vision, they're here, Terrorfon. Saturday at 8 on TNT. Good morning. It's time for a healthy breakfast. Don't worry, your kids won't hide from it. A cereal made from whole grain oats. Don't worry, your kids won't run from it. Yes, whole grain Quaker oats. Don't worry, your kids will eat it. It's Quaker Oat Life. The perfectly, likely, rightly sweet toasted oat cereal your kids will happily, gladly, madly eat. Someone ate all my life cereal. Yeah, it was you. Quaker Oat Life and Cinnamon Life taste so delicious, unless they're weird, your kids will eat it. I see you like pine cleaner. Oh, I just love pine saw. Well, that's not pine saw cleaner. Well, it smells piney, and it's a bargain. Guess how many bottles of that it would take to equal the cleaning power in one bottle of pine saw. Well, two. Another. Three. Another. Four. Another. Five. Five. It takes five of these to equal one bottle of pine saw? And they don't disinfect like pine saw either. Well, it doesn't smell like a bargain anymore. I'll take my pine saw. Now get pine saw at a new low price every day. The other night, uh, my wife made me, well, the most incredible chicken. <laughs> it I was really had. good. It was great. But chicken, I didn't I'm make telling it. you. I didn't make it. What do you mean you didn't make it? Well, I sort of made it. You sort of made it? Yes. Yeah. 
It was a Tyson ready-to-eat roasted chicken. Right out of the package or heated up. It tastes fresh because you buy it fresh. You didn't make the chicken? No, I made the chicken. Okay. Sort of. What does that mean? I'll tell you about it later. It's better. Not better. Surprise. It's sweet. Ocean spray, ruby red and tangerine grapefruit juice drink. This is grapefruit. It's better. Not bitter. Surprise! Yeah, it's sweet. It has two tastes like sweet at first and then grapefruit at the end. Sweet grapefruit and tangerines. Tangerines. Wow, it's better. Much, much better. Not bitter. What a surprise! It's very, very sweet. It's not any ordinary grapefruit juice. It's got a sweet grapefruit taste you'll crave. Ruby red and tangerine. Crave the wave. Ocean spray. Thursday at 8 Eastern on TNT. Unanimously hailed as one of the best movies of the year. Yeah. A masterpiece. I got a writer in here who's got a pitch I think you ought to hear. I think it's hot. One of the most acclaimed movies of our time. Here it is. The Graduate, part two. It's out of Africa meets Pretty Woman. It'll be funny. Not unlike Ghost meets Manchurian Candidate. The Player. It's free when you subscribe to Film Comment, the film magazine that takes movies as seriously as you do. Call now for a full year of film comment for only $19.95. And you'll also get the player free. Oh, yes. Every issue of film comment takes you behind the scenes with the biggest names in show business. Angelica, hey. Griffin Mill. Oh, hi. Good to see you. Malcolm McDowell. Hi, how are you? Hi, Bert. Good to see you. Good to see you. And just about every star can be seen in the player, which is yours free when you get a full year of film comment at a savings of over 20% off the cover price. So call now. We do not arrest the wrong person. That's L.A. Yes. And now, back to the ghost of Flight 401 on TNT. <laughs> Another cocktail? Uh, not unless you want to be embarrassed. Jordy, how's the man behind the desk? You too, huh? I'm beginning to think I'm the company joke. Better than being the company ghost. Okay. Okay. Yes, I heard. And thank you for taking me to dinner to break the news gently. But I've heard from three different people. I'm sorry, Maria. What are you going to do about the story? Ignore them. Ignore them, are well, you? Well, just downplay them, you know, try to stop them. Now, what you're doing is protecting me and my kids, and I love you for it. Now, I have to tell you something. And I don't know what it means, and I don't expect you to believe me, but at night when I turn off the light, I feel him beside me. And it's warm and wonderful. And Jordan? I can finally sleep again. <clears throat> what are you trying to tell me, Maria? That, that Dom isn't dead or that his ghost stalks Miami? I'm telling you about a feeling that I'm having, and I am suggesting that perhaps you open your mind a little bit. All right. What am I trying to say? Dom wasn't a kid when we got married, right? He was very nervous about making that kind of commitment to me and to a family because of his age. But he did it, and we had the children, and thank God for it. And then he died. And his final words were about his children and his family and not being there for us. And now, by some miracle, I feel his presence like he's with us seeing us through the bad times. I don't know how to explain it. It's a feeling. And maybe when he sees that we're all right, that we're going to make it, he'll go on. But right now, it's very comforting to me to know that he is here. And I believe that he's here. And you don't know what I'm talking about, do you? Look, Maria, I'd like, I'd like to believe that when we die, we don't die. I, I'd enjoy believing in some kind of immortality. But as far as I see it, I, I, I just think it's the fear of dying and being forgiven.
for God. You don't believe in God? I'm an agnostic. I, I don't know what I don't believe. There's a pressure leak. Oh, it feels so weird. The temperature says 72 degrees. Well, it couldn't be. I mean, it must be broken. I'll go up and report. Are you coming up? Yeah, I'm better. Bill, there's a temperature drop in the galley. There's no pressure leak. Oh, it's freezing down there. There's no temperature drop. Well, you come down and take a look. All right. Well, come down and take a look. Well? I didn't imagine it, Bill. Oh, okay. It's fine now. Yeah? It's fine now. Hmm. Ladies? It was okay. It was? Okay, normal. Do you know that Stu, um, uh, from Baton Rouge, Brina Coleman? Mm -hmm. She called the main office in Atlanta and reported seeing the ghost. And they sent it to the company shrink. Yeah. Company policy, I guess, huh? Did anybody check the log? Well, they tried to, but the company replaced it with a new one. They replaced it with a new one? Yeah. Come on, we've got Niels to get out. I'm going to take these up. Look it out. soccer players stranded in the Andes with no food and no hope of being rescued. All they have left is the will to survive. And tomorrow, the finish line's in sight. Who will win the gold at the 1994 Winter Olympics? Place your bets with TNT tomorrow. If I use Tylenol for aches and pains, and I do, then I should use Tylenol for headaches too, right? Well, no, I, I don't. I use Excedrin. Is there some great mysterious reason why? No, it's very simple. Tylenol's okay for headaches, but Excedrin relieves them better. That's it. Tylenol's great for lots of things, but for headaches, Excedrin works better. That's it. Excedrin, the headache medicine. New on video from Warner Brothers Family Entertainment. <laughs> the Secret Garden, now at a special low price. And receive this free silver-plated locket packed with each specially marked video cassette. Come to where miracles grow. The Secret Garden. For sale wherever videos are sold. It's better. Not bitter. Surprise. It's sweet. Mm. Ocean spray. Ruby red and tangerine grapefruit juice drink. This is grapefruit. It's better. Not bitter. Surprise. Yeah, it's sweet. It has two tastes like sweet at first and then grapefruit at the end. Sweet grapefruit and tangerines. Tangerine? Wow. It's better. Much, much better. Not bitter. What a surprise. It's very, very sweet. It's not any ordinary grapefruit juice. It's got a sweet grapefruit taste you'll crave. Ruby red and tangerine. Crave the wave. Ocean spray.
With ordinary cat litter, odor can linger, but Scoop Away controls odor better and lasts up to three times longer. It absorbs liquid waste into solid clumps. Remove them and you remove the source of the odor. No need to change your litter box. Just change your litter brand to Scoop Away. This is Berry Berry Kicks, a different kind of kid cereal. Hey, Mom, can we get that, please? And you know what they'll do to get a kid cereal. I'll take off the garbage. It's got natural fruit flavors. i tell you what, I'll give up my video games. Real fruit juice and less sugar than most kid cereals. So when your kids say, Please? You'll gladly say, okay. Berry Berry Kicks. This was worth it. From Tony Network Television, a journey beyond civilization, beyond madness, the chilling story that inspired Apocalypse Now. They will kill us! Heart of Darkness premieres Sunday, March 13th on TNT. <laughs> TNT Monster Vision's They're Here Terrorthon, Saturday at 8 on TNT. They sold over 70 million records. Clearwater Revival. I see trouble on the way. Be clear, keep on playing. Heartland Music presents America, the biggest Creedence collection ever. Rolling, 30 original hits. Rolling, rolling. 737 coming out of the sky. Oh, won't you take me down to Memphis on a minute? But this special collection is not in stores. Please order now. Call 1-800-421-2000. To save all COD charges, use your credit card or send check or money order for $19.98 for records or cassettes, $24.98 for CDs, plus $3 shipping to Credence, P.O. Box 2666, Atlanta, Georgia. And now, back to the ghost of Flight 401 on TNT. Does this mean you're angry? You got notice, huh? Where are my red sandals? I don't have them on us. They're, they're too narrow for me. Oh, come on, Val. I couldn't have it. It was in the log. You put it there. There was no way I could take it out. You could have defended me against those idiots, you know. You could have told them I'm not in the habit of hallucinating. And you could have, you could have said that I was only reporting what another stewardess saw. You could have gone higher up. You could have threatened to quit. You could have done something. Honey, it's not me. Look, half the top floor is ready to can the other half. They've ignored this thing as long as they can, and now they're just, they're just going to roll heads. Mine first, right? Thank you very much, Mr. Evanhoff. Look, I told them that Prissy saw it. You only reported it. And? And they said, you put it in the log. So I am out of a job, and you are out of a roommate. Look, all you and Prissy have to do is see a shrink. Can't stand people with sweet toothpaste from the bottom. Now, well, like I said, the important thing is for Prissy to see a shrink, and she will not do so if you don't. You put both your socks on first, then your shoes. Now the right foot, then the left. Come did you ever stop to think that it might be of some great benefit if, if Prissy were to see a shrink, huh? Listen, just maybe, huh? Just maybe she might need professional help, huh? Come on. Be a friend, hmm? You're shabby, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You think all you have to do is put your body next to mine? Mm hmm? Mm hmm? You macho, narcissistic, chauvinist oppressor. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. We'll go talk to the shrink. Okay. Is there anything you wish to discuss, Percy? Anything on your mind? No, I was asked to come here. Yes, I know. They think I'm crazy or something. Do you? I know what I saw. Tell me about yourself. Why? Do you want me to help you? Look, I never said I needed help. I was asked to come here. Chrissy, you say you saw the vision of a man who died in a plane crash. A plane crash from which you yourself narrowly escaped death. I'm sorry I, I said anything about seeing Dom Somali. None of this would be happening. 
Chrissy, I want to believe you saw what you say you saw. But I need some help. I need to know more about you. Tell me about yourself. Your childhood. Tell me about your parents. My mother died when I was nine. I'm sorry to hear that. She'd, she'd been sick for a couple of years. Leukemia. I remember the night she died, all the nurses were crying, and, and even the doctors were crying. I never knew doctors cried. Do you think of her often? Oh, yes, I, I feel she's close to me. You know, I know this sounds crazy, but I always feel like she's watching over me. It's a beautiful feeling to have. I remember a year after she died, my father put me in the summer camp. And one night I woke up and she was standing there smiling at me. And she said, she said, I'll take care of you. Like you saw Simoli? Yes. Maybe I saw my mother that night because I was alone and I was lonely and I needed her to be near me. The same as the night on the L-1011. Maybe. Because ever since then I haven't been afraid on the L-1011. I mean, everything's been fine. It's as if he came back to tell us that, that everything was going to be okay. You know, that it, it never happened again. Smoley was well liked. Just like Mama. Oh, it's so weird. Chrissy, I'm going to recommend to your employers that they put you back on duty immediately. Thank you. Captain Garrick. Hey, Cindy. Log time. Uh -huh. You deadheading back? Yeah, I got three days this week. When did you switch to Transcontinental? Right after I left ASA. About three months ago. Same time you lost my number. Hey, wait a minute. Cindy, wait a minute. Just a few questions. What? The man, what you saw. It was a man? Yes. He was wearing a kind of uniform. A shirt, wh white shirt, black tie. Like a pilot's uniform. I think so. I was so troubled, I, I couldn't I know, it. I know. Let me show you a snapshot, please. Is one of these the man you saw? Yes. Which one? The man in the middle. Mrs. Kalora, if anybody asks you about this, I'd appreciate it a lot if you wouldn't say anything about the snapshot. Who is he? He's a friend, Mrs. Kalora. He's a friend. I was there. I mean, Geordie, I mean, you can't pass this off as another hysterical student. I heard the woman scream. We saw her face. I showed her the picture. You could have shown her a picture of Teddy Roosevelt that she would have identified. Yeah, but I didn't. I showed her a picture of Dom Simoli. What do you want me to do, Wes? Huh? Have ghost breakers and all the flights? Or, or give out Wolfbane with earphones? Hey, how about feature in-flight seances with movies? Hey, look. 
Your sighting was on Transcontinental. At least the others have kept Somoli to his own airline. I know, and I haven't figured that out yet, but what I want to do is I want to look through the logs of all the flights where Dom was reported. No can do. Come on, you know where they are. You can get to them. Yeah, I can get fired. You want me to go to the press? <laughs> you want me to go to the brass? You'll be flying from Baton Rouge to Shreveport the rest of your natural life. So now you're the perfect company man, huh? Yeah, nobody's perfect. You know, Jody used to care. He used to care about all of us. Now I don't think I know you anymore. Mm, like I said, nobody's perfect. That's really wonderful, Les. Listen, there's nothing like good, healthy metatarsals. Oh, metatarsals. He's my favorite Greek author. <laughs> This is your captain. We hope you're enjoying your flight aboard Atlantic Southeastern Airlines. We certainly enjoy having you aboard. We will be arriving in Mexico City in about an hour. In fact, we may even be on time. And I'd like to remind those of you who are going to Mexico City for the first time, and those of you who are not going on to Acapulco with us, that uh, Mexico City is 6,000 feet above sea level. The air is uh, a little bit thinner there, so you may find that your pulse quickens with very little exertion. Take your time, get accustomed to the altitude, and enjoy your holiday or your business trip, or whatever it is that brings you from New York to Mexico. Thank you. That's 
what he said. There's going to be fire on this plane. He spoke to you? He said, watch out for fire on this plane, Bill. <laughs> okay, gear down and check for lock. Bill? Fire is out number one. The Ghost of Flight 401 returns in a moment. Later on TNT, the survivors of a plane crash desperately cling to life. In the true story, survive. In their land, they had no power. But in their souls, they burned to be free. Marlon Brando, burn. Tomorrow at 9.55 p.m. on TNT. From now on, your raisin nut brand will be different. We've added 25% more nut-covered raisins. We thought you should be prepared. Hmm. Look for specially marked boxes. Now from Oral-B comes new anti-plaque rinse. It combines a natural mint flavor with an active ingredient that kills 90% of plaque on contact. Plaque brushing and flossing may miss. New anti-plaque rinse from Oral-B. Hey, what's this? You've been driving imports for years. I like the Grand Amour. Well, yeah, but looks are in everything. Excuse me. Okay, so it's fun to drive. Come on. It's got anti-lock brakes and an airbag standard. And even with a V6, it costs thousands less than a Cord or Camry. Whoa, so I'm talking to a convert. <laughs> It feels good to be driving American again. Pontiac, Pontiac. It's better. Not better. Surprise. It's sweet. Mm, ocean spray. Ruby red and tangerine grapefruit juice drink. This is grapefruit. It's better. Not better. Surprise. Yeah, it's sweet. It has two tastes like sweet at first and then grapefruit at the end. Sweet grapefruit and tangerines. Tangerine. Wow. It's better. Much, much better. Not bitter. What a surprise. It's very, very sweet. It's not any ordinary grapefruit juice. It's got a sweet grapefruit taste you'll crave. Ruby red and tangerine. Crave the wave. Ocean spray. The J.C. Penny wardrobe sale. It's our way of showing you we have more than one strong suit because you'll save 25% on women's suits, dresses, and accessories. And of course, separates that come on strong. And men, you'll save on many prominent names like Stafford, Hager, and more. Power ties and shirts also make a statement. Our strong suits go on and on, but the wardrobe sale doesn't. J.C. Penny, you win it right. The 1994 Winter Olympics on TNT. Daytime coverage continues tomorrow at 1 Eastern. Is stripping old paint a pain in the elbow? Well, now you can power off old paint, stain, varnish, even rust with Easy Stripper. It literally eats old paint. Forget messy chemicals or changing sheets of sandpaper. Easy Stripper strips window frames and powers paint off siding. It's gentle enough to remove old varnish, yet it chews up thick, scaly rust in seconds. Yes, Easy Stripper powers off old paint and rust on contact. But there's more. Here's the driver. Now you can power in any screw in seconds. Monster screws like this or tiny screws like this. Even screws above your head. Yes, when you order Easy Stripper to power off paint and rust, you also get the driver to power in any screw. Both tools for an incredible $19.95. Order now. For rush delivery, call 1-800-421-2000. Or send $19.95 plus $5.95 shipping to Easy Stripper Plus, P.O. Box 2666, Atlanta, Georgia, for your Easy Stripper and driver. Order now. And now, back to the ghost of Flight 401 on TNT. Here, just go to my place. And that's what he said. All right. Now, aside from the port engine, everything else was perfectly normal, right? Jordy, that's like saying, aside from that, Mrs. Lincoln, how was the play? Yeah, I know. Jordy, Bill saw him. Val saw him. 
Dana's so on. They're not weirdos and kooks. Yeah, but the power of the mind is suggest oh, certain stop phenomena. It. I want to see the logs, Jordy. I want to find out where the salvage parts of the 401 went. Come on. I called the newspapers already. They've got the story. You know, wait a minute. This is not some high school play. We're dealing with a multi-million dollar business, and we're dealing with the credibility of the American public. People are frightened enough of flying as it is. I don't care about your accountant mentality. I want the records. Oh, just knock that off. What about the transcontinental sighting? That wasn't even our flight. That plane, Geordie, was leased from us. That was our L-1011. Okay. Okay, I'll examine the record. We want to examine them with you. <sighs> Meaning you don't trust me, huh? Meaning you become our corporate executive, Geordie. Us against them stuff, huh? And you become them. Jordy. Thank you, sir. How are you? Fine. Have a chair. Thank you. It's on your mind. Well, sir, it's, um, it's about the ghosts. There are no such things as ghosts, Jordy. Well, yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> you see, Mr. Bailey, all of the sightings have been on L-1011s, which have been replaced with parts salvage from Flight 401. I don't know what you're talking about. No. Yes, sir. <clears throat> it's in here. You see, when Prissy saw uh, Dom's face behind the oven glass door in plane 323, the oven door and that plane had been replaced just before with one salvage from Flight 401. Now... In plane 319, when the ghost or whatever was seen, the lower bay galley had come from the crash. You're telling me that uh, every time the uh, ghost was seen, it was in a plane using spare parts from the wreck? It's documented, sir. I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> well, um... Okay, I, I thought if we were to yank out the parts... The keepers have joined the inmates. I'm no less skeptical than you are, Mr. Bailey. You're only trying to tell me that our airlines are haunted. No, sir. I'm trying to tell you that we're talking about pilots. These are technically oriented, pragmatic people with responsible jobs. It's engineers, people who are trained to be objective and calm in a crisis. Now, sir, replacing logs and issuing self-serving handouts to the media will it's just not going to work anymore. We have high hopes for you here, Jordan. I'm thinking of ASA, Mr. Bailey. Now, perhaps you are. Well, let me take a look at these. Only those planes with salvage parts? Well, I don't believe in ghosts either, Mr. Bailey. At least I didn't. Try selling this to the board of directors. Les? Les? Yeah, Can I talk to you? Sure, what? I think uh, we should consult a professional. A professional what? Oh, Val, you're kidding. I've been doing some reading. Dom is coming back because of some, some feelings about the crash, and we can put him at rest. Listen, Val, I won't debate the fact that you and the others saw something, but seances, rising tables, squeaking horns? No. We have a responsibility to Maria, to the airlines, and to Dom's soul. Look, Val, I won't get into a religious discussion with you, but I can't do it. I mean, for one thing, I'd burst out laughing. You know, we need people who are close to him, like you and me and Jordy. And... Jordy? I can see Jordy but going to... If you'll agree, maybe he might. Val, then I'm sorry, but I mean, I know you believe this, and I know you mean well, but I, I'm too old to play Halloween.
What's that? It's coming from below in the hellhole. I better take a look. Flight 793, this is Jacksonville Approach Control. Other aircraft, your area, advise severe electrical storm over Jacksonville. Extreme turbulence, your altitude. Approach with caution. <laughs> Never be another crash of an L-1011. Did you hear him? Dana, did you hear him? John, did you hear him? Dana, you go tell Val I changed my mind. Go ahead. What's happening? Look at this. Great artwork, huh? I saw him, Jody. Yeah, me. I saw him. And I talked to him just like I'm talking to you right now. And what's more, he's on the cabin voice recorder. Fly severe electrical storm over Jacksonville. Extreme turbulence, your altitude. Approach with caution. There will never be another crash of an L-1011. Dear God. The Ghost of Flight 401 returns in a moment. Later on TNT, the survivors of a plane crash desperately cling to life. In the true story, survive. What, what, what time is it? I'm uh, Keith. You is too quiet, huh? Who? Me? Who likes to be the center of attention? Next. Thursday at 80s, turn on TNT. This dress is definitely dangerous. No matter what your favorite look. It, uh, hmm, it looks like, uh... Help keep that look by including Kellogg's Special K. Great toasted taste, 110 calories, and fat-free. I like what I'm seeing. Hmm. Kellogg's Special K. Great taste never looks so good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Behind every new Mazda truck is an unsurpassed 50,000-mile three-year basic warranty. And behind that, who knows? General Nutrition Centers has it. Cybertrim, the revolutionary body toning kit. A diet and exercise manual, nutritional supplements, plus a cassette and body composition meter. Now get 33% more Cybertrim at General Nutrition Centers at no additional cost. Here's to your health, America, from GNC. It's better. Not better. Surprise. It's sweet. Mm. Ocean spray. Ruby red, tangerine, grapefruit juice drink. Tangerine. Surprise. Very, very sweet. It's not any ordinary grapefruit juice. Ruby red and tangerine. Crave the wave. Uh, do you have a problem with cat box odor? No, I don't. Huh? Well, evidently you need Scoop Fresh Scoopable Litter from Fresh Step. It freshens even when you're not scooping. Yeah, why just scoop when you can scoop fresh? Oop. When you take off the weight, you feel great about yourself. You're making a difference in your life and your health. Slim fast, it's what you do. That was really me and Jillian. Then I lost 50 pounds in six months on the Ultra Slim Fast plan. The plan is easy. A shake for breakfast, another for lunch, a sensible dinner, even candy bars as snacks. Give us a week, we'll take off the weight. It's what you're doing for you. It's National Lobster Month, now at Red Lobster. Crack it open, take a bite. Lobster lovers, tonight's your night. Fresh from Maine, rock town too. It's Lobster Month. Just one month to enjoy seven great lobster dinners and tasty lobster appetizers, all at special prices. Special time, special taste. If you're looking for lobster, this is the place. Hurry to National Lobster Month now at Red Lobster. The Cartoon Network's got the marathon with more meow. Did someone say, Top Cat? We've got a whole day with the world's coolest cat, plus a surprise appearance from a mystery guest star. Meow!
Go ahead, call your friends. And if you're not getting the Cartoon Network, call your cable operator, because this you do not want to miss. Believe us, it's the Top Cat Marathon. Sunday, beginning at noon on the Cartoon Network. Where else? And now, back to the ghost of Flight 401 on TNT. The theory seems to be that the consciousness exists apart from the brain or the mind. That's all our fears, joys, anxieties. All these things we feel don't die when the brain does. Uh, what about lust? The question is that if, if consciousness exists somewhere else, in some other plane... As in the fourth dimension, maybe? How about a piece of wire that conducts electrons? The electrons are part of the wire, yet separate from it. You can destroy the wire, but not the electrons. Well, that sounds neat. <laughs> a little droll, maybe. Well, you're the graduate engineer. You took physics in college. Yeah, but I didn't take courses in ghost breaking. Look at this. Nothing is created or destroyed, but only, only changes form. Isn't that a theorem in chemistry? Not exactly, honey. And theorem has nothing to do with ghosts. Well, how do you know? How do you know that the mass of atoms that make up our beings can't be reassembled by thought or will? Do I cease to exist when I leave the room? Simply because we can't touch Dom, does it mean that he doesn't exist? What about God? What about lunch? I'm hungry. Suppose that somebody you really respected, somebody you would trust with your life, claimed that he happened to be a medium. Would you listen to him? Bologna. What? Bologna. You want a bologna sandwich? You flew with him to Boston last week. He's Matt Andrews. He was your pilot. Well, remind me never to fly with Matt Andrews again, huh? What did you hear on the cabin voice recorder? Something that sounded like Simoli's voice. It was Simoli's voice, and you know it. Look, you want to join hands and turn the wine glass upside down? Is that it? We try to communicate with whatever it is who has been trying to communicate with us. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. How about a bologna sandwich? You didn't have any trouble finding the place. Huh? No, no, well, no. we were kind of looking for something a little spookier, like Boris Karloff taking out the trash. <laughs> <laughs> well, my wife is out to the movies, and the kids are banished upstairs. Yeah, we're well, well, to ourselves. Well, sit down, sit down, please. Do you want me to pour the coffee? Mm-hmm. If you like. Cream and sugar? Uh, just cream, no sugar. Thank you. Did either of you ever fly with Simoli? I don't think so, no. They haven't. <laughs> I checked. Listen, we all know what the word medium means to anybody who's not into parapsychology. But if you believe in God, or a life force, or an orderly universe, you already believe in the spiritual. Yeah, uh, you really don't have to sell me, you see, I'm you here... You do. Because the force of doubt is as strong as the force of belief. Well, then why don't we abort the whole thing? Look, look, Matt. I think this whole thing is just an exercise in hysteria. No, 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 we understand. Let's try to explain it to you. Try to clarify it for you. The ghost of Simoli appears only on ASA planes, usually on the L-1011s, where salvage parts in the wreck have been used. Mm -hmm. now, there's a relationship between inanimate objects and people. Psychometry. Right. We've got a theory for that. We believe that the soul exists. That it continues being after we die. And psychometry ties in with people who die suddenly, prematurely, violently. And whenever people die this way, they stay near familiar objects and places. 
We also believe that while they're near these places, they somehow manage to jump from one energy field to another, to ours. And when that happens, they can recreate themselves for brief periods of time. What we have to do here is try to imagine ourselves in Dom Simoli's place. In that terrifying instant, that one tiny fraction of a second, when he knew the plane was crashing, he knew he was facing death, the one thought he had was to save the plane. Imagine the shock, the amazement, the it can't be happening, that awesome drive, the one responsibility that every crewman has to all his passengers. Where do all these responses, where are they happening? In the mind? Okay. A better word. Consciousness. That's right. Because we believe the consciousness goes on living. Its cosmic energy is somehow misdirected, thrown out of whack, whenever extreme anxiety is involved. The idea is that every now and then, a soul gets trapped between two dimensions. It no longer exists here on Earth, and it hasn't yet found its way to the plane it's destined to reach. It must first fulfill whatever obligations it has here on the Earth. Uh, why don't we get on with it? Okay. I'll get the tape recorder. The purpose of this session is to contact Dom Simoli for any information and any help we can give him. something a light an instrument light it's going away I'm losing him I'm losing him I'm sorry my concentration is broken Maybe another time. Look, let's just get it done. Come on, if we're gonna do it, let's do it. Okay. But I need a rest for a minute. I'll get some more coffee. buying this? Oh, come on, you're the front man for the act. I mean, you take a half a dozen religious philosophies, throw in a pinch of science fiction, spoon feed the lot of us, and you ask me, am I buying it? Did you know Dom wore glasses? No. Anybody know Dom wore glasses? They knew. Even Maria didn't know about them until she got the bill for them three weeks after the funeral.
something about a small door and a light bulb. He's afraid the nose wheel's jammed. I'm not getting anything too clearly now. That small door. It could be trapped. It's the hell hole. I can see a porthole. A round window. Strut. It's the landing gear strut. The retract lugs are straight. Everything's normal. It's cold in there. Is that a passageway? I see his flashlight. It's hitting something. Below. Below the landing gear strut. It's black. But reflecting like the moonlight. There's a swamp. The Everglades. I can feel the wind. I can smell the damp. The damp. The water. Coming up. Coming up. Coming up around the plane. We're in a descent. We're no longer at 2,000. 20. 10. The gear is down. All the dying. The gear is down. I feel the spray. All the, all the weight. Body. Heavy. Heavy. We understand, Dom. Look around. There's help here. You're in spirit now. There's no longer any need to remain here. As you walk toward the light, there are many who will help you. Dom, you can leave. We understand. Let go. Let go. Let go. You no longer belong to the Earth. You're not needed on the Earth. The crash is over. It was a series of circumstances. There's nothing you can do about it. Flight 401 is finished. He's moving away from us. He's being helped. Moving toward the light. Some of those who saw the ghost feared open discussion would jeopardize their jobs. The logbooks were replaced. Access to them was denied by the airline. However, salvaged parts installed in other L-1011s were ordered removed. Since the sole rescue, which took place in the late winter of 1974, in the New England home of an airline pilot, not a single reappearance of the ghost of Flight 401 has been reported. Leaves 16 soccer players stranded in the Andes.